Hey, my friends, welcome back to another episode of D and Lee in their RV. This week, we will be touring and reviewing Rocky Neck State Park in East Lyme, Connecticut. Rocky Neck is a masterfully crafted park that is split into camping, beach, and hiking areas. There's a soft sand beach, seasonal pavilion, and the overlook of Tony's Nose and Baker's Cave. There are 160 wooded and open sites, along with concessions, dumping stations, bathrooms, and showers. The park was established in 1931, and it has about a half a mile of beach that some consider the best in the state. The park is around 700 acres, and its very terrain offers something for everyone. The clear waters and a stone-free beach with expanses of white sand makes it ideal for swimming. There's a bunch of diverse trails within the park that provide easy and interesting walks that are so scenic. There's a salt marsh with, I mean, a bunch of birds. Um, there's Tony's Nose and the shipyard. Picnickers enjoy a large stone pavilion, which is beautiful. So stick around for a while. You don't want to miss this one. Welcome to Rocky Neck State Park. We got everything set up so far. A little chilly and there's rain in the forecast, but Right now it's sunny, so we're gonna go catch the beach while we can. Hopefully the rain passes or it's not a lot. I have hope. Right. The first one we pulled up, I was like, eh, it's not near water, right on the water, and it felt open, but once we got it, he, like, set up and everything, Big oak trees. Hopefully it warms up. There's people in shorts and stuff. I don't know how if I had to put my coat sweatshirt on, but I'm sensitive to the cold now. Hey, we're gonna go for a walk now. So checking out the beach. Right where I wanna be. Waiting for Dee, he's in the bathrooms. What? <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find that snake. If I did, I would have had a brand new snake skin camera bag, huh? That would have been nice. Wait, did anyone notice I'm screaming for my life and Dee is just casually still filming? Look how beautiful this salt marsh is. We sat here quietly for over 30 minutes, just watching the birds fly in and out.
Oh, they got a crab. <laughs> yeah, we're filming. Do you catch a lot of them here? Yeah, there's a lot of them in there. Oh, wow. That one is big. We have a YouTube channel, so. Oh, yeah? Let's film you guys. And... Oh, no. Oh, my God, let me fix my nah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel every time. Yeah. Did you use... see the blue claws? Those mm -hmm. are good ones. Ah. Yeah. And you just use chicken? Yeah. They like that. That actually seems fun. Oh, you just wait for them to come over yeah, and then pull them up. They'll smell it, they'll come. They'll, they'll, they'll be around the net to see if it's a trap first. Oh, they're smart. Yes, they are. And then they'll just come little by little with their claws. You have to have patience. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole thing. You know, you meditate while you're watching them. <laughs> ah, yes, that's, I like it. That's a huge, and these rocks right here, mm -hmm. they're huge ones. But they're so small, I guess they're old, so they know. <laughs> right, they've been around the block a few they times. They know. But once one bites, then the rest are coming. Oh, because they think it's safe and... Yep, and I guess the smell, the scent of the chicken, you know, the chicken got that grease and... I eat crabs, he doesn't, but... <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're good. I like them. <laughs> Is there one? It looks like it. I gotta wait. I can't move it. It looks like there's one under the net. Oh, okay. If I try to move it and there is one, then it's not gonna be good. It's gonna go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, how cool. You see, I'm going to leave yes. it a little bit to see if other ones come because they'll feel safe seeing that that one is biting into, you know, whatever's there. And you'll start seeing them coming up from underground. That's the crazy thing. Oh, about they it. bury themselves, right? Yeah. Honey, I got another one. Oh, yep, I got oh, the baby, oh, Louis. Oh, 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 no, wait, oh, wait, we can't make noise. That's another oh, thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I got excited. Oh, honey, right there, right there, honey, right there. I got one inside. Did I pick it up? Wait for that big one. Yeah. You saw it went under. That was a big one. You saw that? Yeah, it's coming back. I see one coming. And it's going towards mine. Yeah, look. See it? Oh, yep. Oh, that's a little one, right? Oh, that's a little one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one was But big. once they, like I said, one one starts biting, then the yeah, other one starts coming. Big. Yeah, the other one was pretty yeah. big. I'm trying to get that big one. <laughs> and I got too excited, and it got out the net. Oh, there's one right in front of us, too. Look at it. Look at it right here. See, that's why, because they sense, I guess, the smell as the other one's biting. Mm -hmm. They all start coming out. You start seeing them each other. And they run. They oh, run. yeah, there they are. Look at that. Oh, they're fighting. I'm going to take it out. Let's take it out. Yep. Oh, you see? Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. I could stay here. <laughs> that's awesome. Take a picture, too. I think we could keep that one. I want to do this. Yeah, <laughs> do they have to be a certain size to keep yeah. them? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. over there is great. There's a sign over there. It says blue crabs. Oh, it tells right. you right there. And it tells you what the season and what size. Mm -hmm. It gives you all the information. Hi. How we figured we'd squeeze this in here for you crabbers. We just met some nice people. They were crabbing on our way to come to the beach. We were looking around for it because we've never been here, but there's a train trestle there. 
and there's a little tunnel under to get there. Ah. Those are showers from when you come off the beach. And it's deceiving. You can't hear the ocean or feel the ocean breeze. But once you walk through this breezeway, look what you see. An amazing, stunning view of the Atlantic Ocean. The sound of the ocean, the ocean breeze, the sound of children at play. So beautiful. Unfortunately, we are here on a rainy day or soon to be rainy day for the next three days. But we enjoyed it while we could. Look how gorgeous this is. This is the public beach area. You can picnic here, grill, chill, uh, hang out with the fam, whatever floats your boat. And coming up, you'll see the Eli Mitchell Pavilion. This was built way back in the 1930s, I believe. And on the west side of the building is where the hiking trails begin. What a spectacular structure. Can't believe this was built in the 30s. Here's a list of the fish that reside in these waters. A fisherman's paradise, I take it. It's like so weird to smell roses at the beach and it they're so fragrant. You guys, it's like, I don't know. You smell the roses, you gotta come over here. They're so strong. It's weird to smell roses at the beach, like. some time at the beach now we're walking home and it's actually a pretty dis distance from the campground well it feels like it. it is. it's hard trying to express the feeling that comes over you while sharing god's green earth with these beautiful creatures only 30 to 40 yards away eye contact as if we were speaking to each other what an amazing feeling. Oh man, it really is. It's just something that's so special when you cross paths with the animals. It's exciting, it's peaceful. I look forward each trip to see what new animals come across our path. Making steaks. Yummy. Dropping the steaks. Yummy. Make grilled cheeses too. <laughs> grilled steak and cheese. No, I'm just saying. Did you bring eggs and stuff? Yeah. Probably should have to you water after you're done. Yeah, maybe that's what he's wanting. Maybe that's what he wants. Yeah. 
Well, I can, yeah, I might, well, he's probably smelling the. You guys, listen to the rain. We're trying to go to sleep and the storm is like crazy outside. People are, I think we're leaving. They have their car lights on. It's like midnight. They're packing up. I come out at 6.55 a.m. to see what type of damage had occurred, and this is what I'm greeted by. My King Camp awning stood up fairly well, but my Yescom side awning is destroyed. The structure is bent, and uh, there's no fixing that. But the King Camp held up pretty well. But that wasn't going to stop us from having fun. So my friends, let's get this tour underway. Okay, most of the sites, if not all, are extremely level. And obviously, once again, State Park, you're gonna have your picnic table and fire pit. The sites are somewhat close so privacy is limited but there are sites if you choose wisely where you can have that privacy that you may be seeking but let's quickly uh get through this because boy it was raining cats and dogs and we tried our best for you so bear with us
take a look at 15. You got some privacy there if that's what you're looking for. The bathrooms are centrally located. Really convenient and uh, easy to get to. Also, very clean. There's three cabins located on the property. Um, and one of them is handicap accessible. Just a heads up, some of the fire pits are at least 10 to 20 yards away from your site. Hey, take a look at Site 9. That one's somewhat private also. Or should I say distant? Here we are at the end again, concluding another episode of D and Lee in their RV. 
We hope this tour and review makes life a heck of a lot easier for you when booking your stay here at Rocky Neck State Park. And with that being said, we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for taking the time out of your day to watch us. We really, really do. We look forward every week to seeing all your comments. So keep them coming. Comment on where you might want us to go, your favorite parts of the video, or just things you want to see more of. It brings a smile to our face, so I hope we bring a smile to yours. Until next time, guys, try to stay positive, do what you love, and do it with passion. Like, subscribe, spread the word of our channel. Till next time, we love you guys.